Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over a couple of little details that you might have missed during the most recent War of the Worlds new gameplay video over on the main channel. If you haven't seen my most recent video where I cover over all the little details, you see my initial reaction, then I really recommend you go and see my last video. There will be a card at the end of the video, as well as maybe a little pop out in the corner of the screen, whichever side it ends up being on. So I really recommend you check that out if you haven't seen it already. Before I get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to GMG Performance, as I recently purchased these new blue light filtering glasses from them for about 50 50 pounds and they really do reduce eye strain and so you know I spend a lot of time looking at my monitors my monitors are quite large as well and I do get headaches and I have noticed immediately how much of a difference that this does in reducing eye strain I'm not sponsored by them but I wanted to mention it as they do make quite a big difference but anyways let's crack on with the video so kicking things off I was recently re-watching the gameplay and I noticed a couple of interesting details that I didn't see on my initial reaction firstly the aliens running into the house clip now the tripod is sat perched above with its probe hanging down a little bit phallic like kind of reminds me of that meme now ignoring that detail considering how fast the aliens were running in this could mean that if a probe sees you in a building it will send its aliens in sort of already aggressive and aware of you being inside of course it could just decide to destroy the building you're hiding in but it might choose to send aliens in instead now the reason why i think this is because of the fact that you can actually see that the tripod is still kind of perched over the building so that might mean that you know it sees somebody and wants to send a you know aliens in or or perhaps it sees something and the building's clear but they're like let's go send some folks in anyway i did see a comment actually from someone asking like you know why send aliens in is it gonna like destroy the building instead so because i saw the tripod sitting above it i thought maybe this is like post probing it's a possibility it's a possibility now the next clip this one is kind of interesting towards the end of the gameplay in the video in the scene where you hear the new uber pod horn you can actually see the pod's lights pan across and it reveals the interior of the garage that the player is hiding in and in this shot you can see that the procedural red weed has actually grown inside the garage now this might not seem like much at first but that leads me to believe that this will happen in all the buildings which is actually pretty cool it'll be kind of like the basement scene in the 2005 movie where you see the red weed spread inside this is going to kind of add a little extra horror element because you might be hiding inside a building and then coming through the windows and maybe under the doorways you might see some red weed kind of creeping in now not only will this be a little bit freaky we also know that red weed spraying will cause damage to the player if they stay in the area that is so that may prompt the player to move to a location which presents its own threats like I don't know aliens roaming around or tripods hanging around in that area which means you know back to square one with the danger an idea that I actually had about the red weed was even though that we know traveling through areas covered in red weed will slow you down and be more difficult my idea was that maybe walking on red weed could make some noise like some squelchy noises which means that you know if you can do that it might make noise that the tripods can hear so you know stealth is going to be a bit harder this could mean that you know you could accidentally alert the aliens to your presence which i think is kind of a cool idea i'm not sure about that so maybe let me know in the comments what you think about that idea is it a good idea maybe we should just maybe this is going too far because you know it's already going to have uh like voice in game if, if you speak in game they could hear you and you know little little details like that it's already extremely hard to stay undetected maybe Maybe adding a noise when you walk on red weed might be going a bit too far. I'm not too sure, but let me know in the comments. But that idea, this could create another reason for a player to not stay in an area too long. So those were the two little details that I missed on my first little run through uh, when I first watched the gameplay. I actually wanted to quickly let you guys know, I mentioned in a live stream, I believe it was, or maybe in a video, I can't actually remember. I know I mentioned it on the channel about the War of the Worlds experience in London. I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be going to the War of the Worlds experience in London on the 21st of December. That is a Wednesday. So if you're going there on that day, be sure to come over and say hi. If you can get yourself booked in, I'm you know more than happy to speak to you if you turn up on the day. I'm hoping to vlog it. Obviously, I can't vlog the experience itself because of, well, I think copyright is one of the reasons, but also the fact is it's meant to be a, a paid for experience. I can't film it so people can watch for free online, but it's definitely worth going and seeing because there's like VR bits, there's actors going in there, but there is like an intermission stage where you get to go into a red weed bar. They have like a red weed cocktail that you can buy. So I want to sort of vlog that little bit of an experience of going there and let you guys know what I think of it. If you're in the London area or you're able to travel to it and you're interested, well, maybe stick around for that video. It'll be coming out around Christmas time. But anyways, that's everything for this 
this video. If you did enjoy it, please do let me know by giving me a like. It does help me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. If you want a member, please do consider becoming a member. It's only a few pounds a month. It can go, there's different tiers and whatnot. But if you can't afford it, that's absolutely fine. If you aren't subbed, I would appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you ring the bell so that we get notified when I post a new video. I know it's a bit shorter, but I just wanted to sort of put those little details out there. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.